We know that in the lab, if we give melanoma cells low doses of cyclophosphamide, that we can regulate the, the T cells or the T regulatory cells. And if you can downregulate those T regulatory cells, you should be able to enhance an immune response. And so that was the theory that we used doing this trial where patients would get a low dose of cyclophosphamide before they got a checkpoint blockade with CTLA-4. We expected an enhanced immune response and we expected patients to do much better than if they got CTLA-4 alone. And so knowing that the response rate of CTLA-4 alone in pre-treated metastatic patients is somewhere between 10 and 15 percent, we predicted that we would have at least one person have a response in the first 10 patients we treated. So if anybody had a response in the first 10 patients, the study would continue. We would go up to like 40 patients. Um, but we were, we were pretty surprised in what we found. And what we found was that the low dose cyclophosphamide, it clearly regulated a facet of the immune system and we're, we're now exploring because we have tissue and we have blood on all of these patients to see exactly what we did because rather than make the disease more responsive to immunotherapy, we probably made it more refractory to immunotherapy and we enhanced the toxicity, which was something we never would have predicted um, normally when you give patients CTLA-4 antibodies like ipilimumab, which was used in this trial, you have about a 20 to 30 percent chance of having diarrhea. That's a known side effect of the drug. In our study, we saw 70 percent diarrhea. I mean, clearly more than doubled our toxicity with respect to diarrhea. We doubled our toxicity with respect to rash and itching, and we doubled our toxicity with respect to endocrinopathies, which are known side effects of this drug, but clearly not to the degree in which we saw in just 10 patients. So here we were hoping to give, give something that was gonna make, thing, make the drug better, when in fact, we actually probably made the drug worse.